couch till a white night Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing Woo. Welcome to Wisconsin We got nine more days until Christmas And today I'm out here with my friends and brothers doing some burbot fishing for the first time. Come and join me and see if we can catch us some burbot for you to see. All right, Sal, what are we doing today, man? Well, today we are fishing for mermaids. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, today we are burbot fishing. Oh, Poor yeah. man's lobster. All right, the rig, nothing special. Just a three-way to a two-ounce sinker, a longer leader to your hook. Using your octopus hook, better hook set, What's ratio. What's your test pound line for the weeder and your main line? Uh, so. My braid line is 10 pound. I'm running 12 pound, 12 pound fluorocarbon. Nice. Yes, yes. And how big do they get, man? They get about 50 pounds okay. Okay. average. Nice. But hopefully if you catch a 50 pounder, Let's see. the big ones are up north. <laughs> Josh got the grill. Josh the chef all the time, man. Long neck, guys. That's all you need right here. Because it's a steep drop. Yeah, Josh here. here. What's up, Josh? So that's a secret bait right there. So I'm show the secret bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like 20 degrees. We got some wind coming like 13 miles per hour. Really cold, so that just makes it really cold. But rule number one is layer up, stay warm, bring some heat warmer. Uh, my brother and they brought a shanty. The guys are gonna do some some grills. Just kind of hang out with the guys and see how it is, man. Hopefully we catch some burbits for you to see. I'm um, really excited. Never caught a burbit before, but um, finally got the opportunity today out with the brothers and friends. I brought some shad. We tossed some shad out, minnows, night crawlers, and it's all a waiting game. So don't want to miss out on this. Hopefully we catch a big one. Hopefully you enjoy this. Stay tuned. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Look at that. That's a, dude, that's a hefty one, y'all. That's a big one, dude. Hey, that's that guy. That's a, that's a hefty one, dude. Look at that. That's a good one, actually. Look at that, guys. Alright. Yeah, how's that do? Who wants to lip it? Josh. Josh, you want to lip it? That's a nice one, y'all. Here you go, guys. That's a burbot. Wisconsin burbot, guys. Up, my first burbot ever. Yep, got lucky. <laughs> Look at that pattern, color pattern, dude. Freshwater cod. Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of heavy, man. Oh, let's go, boys! I'm after Josh. We got fish on the board. Let's go. Shout the net man. And uh. Got it on the shad, boys. Another bourbon, guys. First bit of bourbon of the year. Let's go. Still got my bell on, too. That's crazy. <laughs> right after uh, Josh caught his, fight like a walleye. Yep. I got child's line, but that's okay. Swallow me for good. Oh, I got the tanker, bro. Look at that. Oh, Sal? Uh, let me walk backward. Okay, good. Boom! <laughs> good stuff, Sal! Yeah! Woohoo! Good yeah. stuff, boys! Your brother hooked the line, but it went the other way. Oh, it's Sal's fit! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Oh, yeah, Sal, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, yes! We are on. I gotta tell Dave now. This is a foul. Dude! Dude! Dude, right now. dude that's David. a chunk of bro! I'm gonna call David right yeah, now. Yeah, dude. Man. Hold on, man. Let me, right let, me, let, me, let me lip it, dude. I'm gonna call David right now. First fish of the year. 
First prairie of the year. They're about the same size. Wow. Fat. Is fatter? That one's fat. That one's fatter. Yeah. Dude, what a toad. <laughs> this thing's a tanker. These are a uh, freshwater cod. So, got a, like a, I don't know, a pretty long liter, 12 pound liter fluorocarbon with a three ounce sinker. Man, he is, they swallowed this, so, yeah, he, they like to curl like an eel. This is the Wisconsin bourbon. This cool pattern on them. You can see it. What a fish. Basically, just kind of wait it out, sit out, enjoy some grill, company, the fish. That's a beautiful fish. Here, in Wisconsin, on the, off the Great Lakes, guys. It's a nice uh, burbot. You basically swallowed it, so definitely gonna keep it. it feels like a catfish. Oh, look at that belly. Look at that belly, dude. Nice fish. They are uh, they are most active at night. You'll catch them in the daytime, but apparently they're more active at night. So you'll catch them that that way if you do want to target burbots. Oh yeah, he swallowed my travel hook deep. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's like a good I don't know maybe 33 inch. Feels like a eight pounder, pretty hefty. What a fish. My hands are freezing. So what I have on is a 12 pound fluorocarbon linked up to a eight pound braided line. And we're gonna try to get this treble hook out. Otherwise I might have to cut my line. They don't have any teeth, so you can definitely lip them if you want it. Yeah, it's still alive. And it certainly, yeah, it swallowed my hook real good. So I'll just cut my line. We're good. If you do fish off the walls, make sure you bring a, a long handled net. That's some good company. That's all you really need, guys. Wow. Sweet. Michigan accomplished. Super windy. Here in Wisconsin during the December time, before the holidays. Again, it's like nine more days until Christmas. Now I'm out here with the family and just having a good time targeting burbots. My first time targeting burbots. Sorry if you can't really hear me, it's windy. My lips are kind of frozen, but it's totally worth it. It's so fun. They feel really heavy. It kind of reminds me of walleye fishing and it's just great to be out here. I love Wisconsin. I probably wouldn't move anywhere else. Family's here, the outdoors here. Man, I got the outdoor habits. Let's see, I'm gonna try to help my fellow, my family, my, my friends in here. Try to help them out, get them hooked up too. And kind of spend the night with them and just have a good time. So don't leave yet. Let's have some more fun. All right guys, you can probably see my breath. It's really cold, we got some wind coming from the west. So I guess it's perfect. I don't think it really matters when, when it comes to fishing for burbots, but um, the fish are definitely in here. They, they basically come from the deep up to the harbors over here, here in Wisconsin. And that's kind of where the winter time, that's where you can kind of catch them. So I don't have any gloves because the adrenaline pumps in and it's keeping me warm. So that's one thing I love about fishing. That's one thing that gets me really excited is when you catch a fish and then now you, your body's all warmed up, your blood's really warm <laughs> and you're really excited. You're overly excited and it just feels good. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be using. Basically using some shad that I caught over the summer here and they're dead obviously and frozen. And so basically I'm just gonna kinda, the best piece it's definitely going to be the, uh, not the tail end, but definitely the head. Why? Because it's going to tend to hold more juice and um, these meat will break away or will break off the hook easily if soaked too long in the water. 
So it's nice to have that part of that head on, the part of the head of the, uh, the, the shad to give it a little bit more of a smell to it. And so these fish has, has a really strong sensitive smell and a really good nose basically. They can, they, can, they can smell this from a mile away. And these fish are pretty slimy. These burbots are really slimy. There's, if you just think as a, like a pike or a muskie, they're just as slimy as a, a pike or a muskie. So um, there's no really right way to hook it. I'm just gonna put a shed head on and put this on the treble hook. I think this is a, I don't, I can't, re, I don't know the size of this, this treble hook, but it's definitely a smaller size than your your typical treble hook that you see on your your crankbaits or your squirrel bill. So I'm just gonna cast it out. I now have a, a heavier weight because I don't have any more three ounce. So I'm just gonna cast a heavier weight, hope, hoping that you know it'll, it'll stay stay in place much longer because it's a flat weight. If it's a round weight, then you're gonna tend to it's gonna tend to roll a little bit more but if you get like a, a flat weight like this where it's more flat your uh your line your bait will stay more in position because the current's definitely pushing out to the to the lake so it's uh it's pretty strong the wind's pretty strong tonight but let's see if we can catch a much much bigger one out here Man, what a night. We are done for the day, guys. And, oh, let me clean up the lens here. I'm back in the truck here, and it is currently 12.41 a.m. And what a night, man. It was amazing to be out here with my guys, brothers, friends, and family here. And just great to see everybody out here just having a good time fishing. So I'm truly blessed to be out here again. And I know I say that all the time every time I'm out, but um, I just like to remind myself that I get to come out and fish, you know, and be able to share that with you guys too, you know, not just I got to go out or I, I have to go out, but it's more of a I get to come out here and fish. So one thing I love about fishing is that it gets you really pumped up and just get to just really enjoy, you know, the sport of fishing and being, being, able, being able to share that with friends and family around you, with you. It's just amazing. And so um, I hope you get to get that experience too. If you can get out, get out and just, even though you're not catching fish or you're not catching the big fish, you know, at least you're catching fish or you're spending time with um, the loved ones. And so uh, I would definitely love to do this again. I had the pleasure to be out there with them. And um, even though we only caught, I only caught one fish, Jack caught another one. It's just great to have that interaction with the other fishermen. And um, I just love, that about fishing you know really and so I, I i am glad i was able to share this with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy the videos if there's something that you guys don't enjoy you guys think that i can do better i could work better on please let me know man I'm, I'm i'm all about growth too you know i'm not perfect i'm not the best fisherman I'm, i don't claim to be the best fisherman or know know it all but i'm here to learn at the same time with you so if you see me or if you had got some good tips please let me know man i'm open to all the the advice and tips that, that you got so uh, comment down below if you haven't yet if you're new to the channel like and subscribe and one great news i like to share with you and i'm really excited to share with you is that i am looking to change my my brand name officially to outdoor habits and shout out to my wife for uh coming up with that name uh, i do have that name on my um um uh, merchandise my merch website so I do have that name there since uh, the beginning of this year so I am gonna claim it fully um, for now on so I'm gonna look forward to change it so let me know what you think about the outdoor habits uh, brand name and um, uh, I think it's just gonna look real cool on a shirt or a hat or a bag or something like that I think it's, got, it's a cool name because that it's just gonna it's gonna it's basically gonna uh, name it off for me you know like it's that's who I am that's a part of me that's that's uh, what I am that's who I am and I enjoy the outdoors if you enjoy the outdoors as much as I do please like and subscribe share the videos sh uh, share the channel and you know tell a friend it would be great I'll really truly appreciate that very very much sincerely seriously i would appreciate that very very much for real and so uh thanks again enough ranting thank you for watching burberry fishing is amazing definitely gonna come back out back out here um it was nice to catch that nice big old girthy 
big belly bourbon. And they're beautiful fish. The pattern on them look real amazing. So hopefully my, ca my camera captured that, all that for you to see. And I will see you on the next adventure.